Why, hello there, I'm Professor Joel, and welcome to another episode of Planet Scrappy Reviews. I've got really great news for you. Not next week, but the week after, I will be returning to my Scooby-Doo episodes, and it couldn't come any sooner because these Scrappy-Doo episodes are driving me crazy. They're, they're good, they're okay, they're watchable, but I don't like silly Scooby-Doo. I like spooky Scooby-Doo, and this was just too much spooky or silliness for me. And anyway, today we are covering Scooby's Fun Zone, which originally aired on December 13th, 1980. And it is the first part of part six of the Richie Rich Scooby-Doo show. And here we see the gang heading to an amusement park pier for some fun and games and food, of course. How much trouble can our gang get in? Let's find out. The episode begins on the amusement pier where Scrappy is hungry for some taffy and cotton candy. Scooby puts in a quarter but ends up getting sucked into the machine where he becomes one with the taffy. Eventually ejected from the machine, Scooby emerges with a stylish cotton candy afro. Not bad, sort of a saltwater Scooby. The gang then step right up to a sideshow attraction where Scooby gets flattened by a 700 pound model named Little Lulu. Hurry, step right up, step right up. The gang then spot a strong man named Killer Crunch who Scrappy instantly picks a fight with. Ladies and gents, meet Killer Crunch. <laughs> the strong man tells them to scram, so they do. Unfortunately, Scooby, while playing a carnival game, tosses a curveball smacking the strong man in the head. The strong man chases the gang through a house of mirrors where we get the typical shape-changing shenanigans we normally get. The gang then run into a haunted house of horrors where Scooby and Shaggy are terrified by a variety of floating ghosts, spiders, and skeletons. <laughs> Trying to leave the gang once more run into the strongman. Scooby and Shaggy disguise themselves as clowns on a water dunking exhibit while Scrappy operates as a carny. The strongman dunks Scooby and Shaggy and walks away satisfied. I give this episode a 2 out of 10. It's not bad. There was a really cool scene with the House of Horrors, but they're only in there for like 45 seconds. If this had more spookiness in the House of Horrors, this would get a higher rating for me, of course, because, you know, I love my spookiness. Still, for a pure carnival episode, this one was fun enough. I, I liked some of the sights, some of the games. It was okay. But yeah, just a 2 out of 10. And I have no intent of ever watching this one again. Anyway, like I said, there's only one more episode for me to review of Scrappy-Doo for, um, for at least not for the entire series, but until I return to my Scooby-Doo episodes, which will uh, start with the new Scooby-Doo comedy movie. So I'm excited to bring that back to you because I'm tired of watching these silly uh, seven-minute episodes and I need a break from it. And I'm sure some of you do too. So anyway, join me next week when I will be covering The Swamp Witch. Until then, stay spooky.